back in 1940. Must have been 1940, right? The, the presidential elections are at years that end with zero. Even years that end with zero. So 1900, 1920, 1940, 1960, 1980, 2000. Those were presidential election years. So this is 1940. In 1940, Ronald Reagan was a Democrat. Okay? And and keep in mind, 1940... And now, wait a minute. This is this is an ad for Truman. So this, this must have been... This must have been 1940. 48. Yeah, because Truman, Truman ran for president in 48. So this was 48. This was after World War II. This is an ad for Harry Truman and Hubert Humphrey. Hubert Humphrey was running for the United States Senate from Minnesota that was done by Ronald Reagan when he was a Democrat. And it's actually a damn good ad. So listen to this. The profits of corporations have doubled, while workers' wages have increased by only one quarter. In other words, profits have gone up four times as much as wages. Sound and familiar? the small increase workers did receive was more than eaten up by rising prices, which have also bored into their savings. For example, here's an Associated Press dispatch I read the other day about Smith L. Carpenter, a craftsman in Union Springs, New York. Seems that Mr. Carpenter retired some years ago, thinking he had enough money saved up so that he could live out his last years without having to worry. But he didn't figure on this Republican inflation, which ate up all his savings. And so he's gone back to work. The reason this is news is Mr. Carpenter is 91 years old. Now, take as a contrast the Standard Oil Company of New Jersey, which reported a net profit of $210 million after taxes for the first half of 1948, an increase of 70% in one year. In other words, high prices have not been caused by higher wages but by bigger and bigger profits. The Republican promises sounded pretty good in 1946. But what has happened since then, since the 80th Congress took over? Prices have climbed to the highest level in history, although the death of the OPA was supposed to bring prices down through, quote, the natural process of free competition, unquote. Labor has been handcuffed by the vicious Taft-Hartley law. Social Security benefits have been snatched away from almost a million workers by the Gearhart Bill. Fair employment practices, which had worked so well during wartime, have been abandoned. Veterans' pleas for low-cost homes have been ignored, and many people are still living in made-over chicken coops and garages. Tax reduction bills have been passed to benefit the higher income brackets alone. The average worker saved only $1.73 a week. In the false name of economy, millions of children have been deprived of milk once provided through the federal school lunch program. This was the payoff of the Republicans' promises. And this is why we must have new faces in the Congress of the United States, Democratic faces. This is why we must elect not only President Truman, but also men like Mayor Hubert Humphrey of Minneapolis, the Democratic candidate for senator from Minnesota. There you go. For, yeah, it's incredible. That was he, the the Congress that he was speaking of, by the way, was you know the Republicans from from 1932 until the middle of the Clinton presidency. The if, I forget which year. I think it was 96. But for that entire period, for that like like what would that be, 40, 50 years, something like that. During that entire period, there was only two years when the Republicans controlled the House of Representatives. And that was 46-47. And that was the Congress that Ronald Reagan was just attacking. 